Hi, this is Veena Gidwani. Today we are going to make Sai Bhaji, a very popular Sindhi dish which is generally made at least once a week in most Sindhi homes. The reason why Sai Bhaji is very popular is because it tastes good and also it's very nutritious because a lot of elements go into it. We have several green vegetables that go into it. There's chana dal and a host of vegetables and spices that go into it to give it that yummy taste and flavor. Let's now take a look at what goes into making Sai Bhaji. This is palak or spinach leaves. Then we have khatta palak which you can go to the bazaar and ask the bhajiwala for khatta palak and you have to put very little of this if you're putting one bundle of spinach then one fourth of that will be this khatta palak next we have sowa or dil these are methi leaves all the greens that you see here need to be very finely chopped with only using the leaves and not any stems one katori of chana dal soaked for about half an hour one small potato finely chopped one small brinjal finely chopped few cluster beans or gavar finely chopped one carrot finely chopped two inch piece of pumpkin or dudhi finely chopped one medium sized onion finely chopped two small tomatoes finely chopped in addition to the greens vegetables and dal we need 10 to 12 flakes of garlic finely chopped one to one and a half inch piece of ginger finely chopped 2 to 3 green chilies finely chopped, 2 teaspoons dhania powder, half teaspoon jeera powder, half teaspoon turmeric powder, salt to taste and oil for cooking and water that will be added later. So let's begin making our sai bhaji. First I'm going to light the flame. Place my pressure cooker on it and I'm adding 4 tablespoons of oil. The oil is now hot so I am first going to add the garlic to it, then ginger and green chilli. Then I am now going to saute this for a minute or two till the garlic pieces are slightly golden brown. My garlic and chilies are now done and I am now going to put in the onion. Once again I am going to saute these till they are soft and translucent in color. Next is the turn of the chana dal to go in. Once again, um, we will saute the dal for a couple of minutes so that it can get the flavors of the spices. It's now time to put in all the vegetables. So I'll start by putting the carrots, the dudhi or pumpkin, potato, the gawar or cluster greens. Brinjal. Now I'm going to turn all these vegetables again for a minute or two. Now I'm going to add the dry spices. So turmeric, about half teaspoon, coriander powder, two teaspoons, and jeera or cumin seed powder, half teaspoon. And I'll stir all the vegetables with the spices. I'm now going to add the tomatoes. Now it's time to put in the greens. So I'll begin by putting the sova. 
द खट्टा पालक एंड द मेथी लीव्स आई गिव इट वन मिक्स एंड नाउ इट्स टाइम टू पुट द स्पिनेच one last stir again with the vegetables dal and the spinach and now it's time for us to add salt because we know exactly how much of everything has gone in so i'm going to put 1 teaspoon of salt now i'm going to add one mug of water and we will now let the palak pressure cook i'm now going to play close the pressure cooker and this is the flame is going to be high now till the first whistle goes the first whistle has now gone off so i'm going to reduce the flame and we'll cook it on low flame for 10 minutes now let me check if our cooker has cooled down yes it has so we can open it now and that's just what i'm going to do and this is how the sai bhaji looks at this stage and you can have it as it is with roti or with bread but when we serve it with rice it's well blended and i'm going to now blend it with a hand blender we need to blend it smooth so that the no grains of dal or the pieces of vegetable are seen in the dal and it's a smooth puree Our sai bhaji is now ready to serve. This is the consistency that you need to have. Since you're going to have it with rice, it needs to be not very thick. But this consistency is perfect. I'm now going to serve The sai bhaji is now ready to be eaten. We've got loads more for you, so subscribe to this channel and ping us at food at pingnetwork.in to tell us what you would like to see here.